My first destination was Rio Vista in the California Delta. I thought I'd try a new campground. I drove to Rio Vista the first day, to Lake Solano via Locke, Sacramento, and Winters on the second day, and home to San Rafael on the third day. It rained off and on. When the sun shone, the hills looked emerald green. Finally, I reached the little road that follows the levee across the river, I think it's the Sacramento River, um, toward Sherman Island, where my map said there was a campground. All I found was this marina and kind of a mobile home park, but that's okay. It was gorgeous and the drive was worth it. Since it was getting dark, we returned to our old familiar stomping ground at Sandy Beach in Rio Vista. I even got the same number 11 parking place. My idea of a perfect camping spot is being able to wake up the next morning and not worry about my blinds being closed while I drink that first cup of coffee. Annie and I took another walk in the morning. We had the beach to ourselves. Then we hit the road again. Following Route 160 along the levees, I headed toward Lock, which I've been to several times before. It's an historical landmark. The levees were built by immigrants who first built the railroad. A number of them were Chinese. According to a plaque in town, Lock was built by George W. Lock and his partner, Samuel P. Levinson, in the late 1800s. George came from New Hampshire in about 1852 at age 22 for the gold rush. He and Samuel bought three large parcels of swampland. The Lock Ranch was 490 acres. They left the eastern third wild and it's now the Delta Meadows. They planted the northern third with pear trees. The rest was an encampment for workers and a rail yard. There were two huge canneries with dormitories, a saloon, restaurant, brothels, theater, opium dens, a flour mill, a church, a slaughterhouse, and a four acre community garden. The brothels were run by Caucasians and the gambling halls and opium dens were run by Chinese. In 1937, 37% of the population was Chinese, and there were also Americans, Russian, Spaniards, Japanese, Portuguese, Mexicans, Italians, French, Irish, Scottish, Armenian, Turkish, and several other groups. Today, Locke has only 200 or so residents. 40 of them live in town. From Locke, I continued north on 160, river on one side and farmlands on the other. From Sacramento, I turned west, going through Davis in the adorable little town of Winters headed toward Solano Lake County Park. I took I-80 to Davis, then Route 128 to Winters. Winters is so cute. I found a great bakery. Solano Lake County Park is about 10 minutes from there. 
After I settled in, it started to rain. So I fixed myself some tea and had some of the chocolate eclair I bought in winter. Mm -mm. Lake Solano is the result of a dam built on Puta Creek for irrigation. They have a nature conservation center and tons of peacocks. A trail runs alongside the lake, which really feels like a river. Annie and I had a good night's sleep. The next day was sunny, so we took the walk along the trail again. Then after visiting the bakery for breakfast in winters again, we headed home. Here we're going over the Carquinas Bridge. The original was built before the Bay Bridge and the Golden Gate Bridge. When my grandparents came to California in the 1920s, they took the Solano Ferry across the Strait, the largest ferry in the world. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.